Hey guys, this is PMR Bones 88 and today for my next superhero movie review that I'll be talking about today is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Your favorite heroes of the half show have gone from the comic strip and then to the TV show and then up to the big screen. And plus your favorite turtle, your favorite Ninja Turtles are there which are Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo, and Raphael. So this movie is like, um, it's much like darker and at first I thought it was going to be like part of the TV show, which of course, you know, the cartoon show, the four green turtles and uh, of course their enemy, of course the shredder along with their techno drum. But however, this movie is like um, pretty much, you know, action, adventure and and of course, of course um, comedy because um, they always make like, you know, practical crack jo crack ass jokes. <laughs> but anyways, um, the film of course, you know, the turtles are like, you know, trained as ninjas and their are names after the renaissance arts. So they're like, you know, basically, you know, hiding in the shadows, hiding from the sewers or any other dark alley places. Like, you know, they're supposed to be ninjas, you know, that's how nin Ninja Warriors are supposed to be, you know, they're supposed to like, you know, hide in the shadows and not being seen. And of course their their master or their father, of course, um, that trained that trained them, which is um Splinter. He's also, you know, a rat. <laughs> I mean I like this movie and of course um it does have um it does have a few like good funny scenes, of course, along with Michelangelo and Donatello and the turtles about them, they're like, you know, let's see, like, Leonardo is supposed to be, you know, the natural leader. He leads the turtles, um, he protects them, he's loyal to them, and cares for them as well. And, um, Donatello, he's supposed, Donatello, he's much more of a, a mechanical, you know, mechanical engineering computer whiz. And, um, Michelangelo, he's, he's a party dude, he's a party animal, he likes to party. He's, he's like the youngest out of the whole of his um, brothers, of course. Um, they're like, they were born as brothers. And uh, so Michelangelo, he likes to party. He likes to have fun. He likes to make jokes all the time. And lastly, one of my favorite turtles, of course, um, is Raphael. He's um, much more of a hothead and hot hand, badass, a rebel, rebel kind of guy. And he doesn't really listen to everybody. He like goes the opposite of what people tell him what to do so that's why I like him and he's he does have some sort of a bad temper and of course he's um he doesn't really hate Leo but he he doesn't like you know they go like back and forth Leo and Rap they um they have like you know their little <laughs> rivalry and of course now um their enemy which was um which was the Shredder the enemy was their foe was the, the Shredder and he like um, makes the, the group call which was known as the Foot, the Foot Clan and when I saw this movie I thought at first it was good like based off the, the TV show, the, the cartoon show of course um, where the Shredder has his um, big techno drone and his Foot Clans were, they weren't like real people, they were robots, you know just like build up robots machines but apparently they didn't. I um, apparently they didn't so um, they really, they were actually using, you know, like the Foot Clan as trained as ninjas and they live in some sort of a, some sort of a base or something like a shelter, you know, with all the bad kids, you know, just like hang out, smoke and do what they, do whatever they want to do and stay away from parents, of course, and, or train, or also if they're old enough, they get to train as, you know, one of the Foot Clans as ninjas or assassins or thieves, of course. They kept like, they did have talk about like some story backgrounds like how the turtles became like the teenage mutant ninja turtles and how did splinter um first met the um, the shredder but of course the shredder was named known as um Oroko Saki and S splinter was just you know a little ordinary baby rat of course and his master was um Amato Yoshi instead you know like they talk about some background story you know of how how they became the, the Ninja Turtles and how did Oroko Saki became Shredder. So it's like a background story of their origins. So, and that's what I like. I liked about this film. They do talk about a little origins of, them, 
on themselves or they talk about what talk about the turtles and all that so that's what I really really liked about this film and because with the story of it it was perfect but I had to like make some few like few feedbacks of this movie of course um like first off they made like they made a lot of mistakes and errors of this film as you can see um they made a lot there were a few errors and mistakes that they should have cut out or should have like done another scene or if there was another scene of it that didn't have so much mistakes or bad makeup of it. so like for example there's like um one scene of course where you know where Raph and Leo argue at April's some um, apartment when Raph goes to um gets closer to Leo you can see um right behind Raph there's like there's a person down there person down there who's either like some sort of a art designer or one of the producers of course he was like kneeling down he was trying to be some sort of um an, ob an object or something but apparently they messed it up so he got caught in the camera i mean the director should have just said cut or something but maybe he did after when rap said said something to leo but apparently he was lying down there of course so that was mistake number one and there was another mistake um if those of you have it on blu-ray or on dvd you know or a high quality tv you can see like um where Donnie like laughs and his mouth like opens up. You can see the guy's face just a bit. You see the guy's face um the whole of it. So therefore um there was another mistake with the makeup of the turtles. So um that's another mistake. But there were a couple mistakes, but it didn't like ruin the film too much. So at least that was good. Out of all the funny scenes where the turtles faces the the Foot Clan at um, April's apartment and then into the sewers, which is their, their old home and of course up to the rooftop. They were like one of my most favorites, of course. But up at that up at that ending scenes where they finally face off the shredder and they certainly, you know, get beat down, they get all weary and tired. But then one tour like um, takes the stand and Leo just like charges, to sh char charges at shredder, getting ready to kill him. But then Splinter shows up and you know, they finally face off, you know, face to face for one last time. But then after the end, um, where Shredder like, um, takes off his mask and reveals his face, the Shredder like begins to charge at Splinter, but then Splinter like, um, dodges and just like, uses one of Michelangelo's, um, nunchucks. And like, try, well, he falls, but then he tries to save him. But then at the end, um, the Shredder falls into the garbage truck and we all think that's the end of the Shredder. Or is it? So after I'm um, done talking about this film, uh, I have to say this film was like you know really fun to watch, really enjoy, and it's really dark. I mean, it does you know it does have um, a dark time moments, but of of course um it's a good movie. I really enjoy this film, and of course they made two they made um two more plus um the anim the CGI movie as well so I'll be talking about those soon as well so to rate this film I have to give it like um I have to give it 85 out of 100 because the film's like enjoying I I really enjoy this film I really like like this movie a lot and of course I mean if they hadn't made a few like you know mistakes and errors this movie would have been great but it's still a good movie I enjoy it and I own this movie on DVD and Blu-ray so the next time, whenever I do a superhero movie review that I'll be talking about, it's Blade. And this is PMR Bones 88 signing off. It's saying is, PEACE! <laughs>